Well, good morning. I'm out here at the crack of eight o'clock. Uh, it was supposed to be raining according to the weather forecast last night and I got up this morning and they had reduced the chance of rain. So, supposedly 15%, the skies look like they're clearing up. I'm, I'm going fishing. I'm on the Ogeechee River. Uh, I'm gonna try and see what I can do. I caught a few crappie last time I came out here. Uh, the weather has just been awful. I mean, awful, guys. It's just rained and rained and lightning and thunder and stuff on and off. And then when they say it's going to, it doesn't. When they say it's not, it does. And it's just been a mess. So you don't know who to believe, what to do. So I'm gonna, what else can I do but fish, but try? So let's see what we can get into today, guys. Uh, got an outgoing tide, current's going pretty strong. Uh, it's not muddy looking, but the water doesn't look bad. So see what I can, uh, see what I can run across. Uh-huh. There's one. There's one. Had one good bite, missed it. Now I caught this little guy. It's the same color I used the other day. It's not really red, it's more, well, it's pretty much red. It's uh, kind of a orangey red with uh, chartreuse. So, it's a couple of bites. Let's see if I can... If I can talk another one in the bite. They hit it good, they hit it hard. So that's a good sign. I don't know how I missed that first one. That felt like a good fish, the first one did. It really thumped it. Trying to figure out with this current right here because I'm, I'm in an eddy. Um, it's a big circle. Trying to figure out how these guys are sitting in relation to it exactly. And I'm trying to figure out if they want it swimming, if they want me to stop it, what it is they want. Been changing colors trying to figure out what it's going to take and where these guys are sitting I cannot cannot get them located now I don't have like one of these live scope things I mean it's just me and a down down graph and looking at the water so I don't have all the high-tech equipment where I can just see them out there swimming around but they seem to be moving around a little bit had two bites kind of right back in there. I know that's where the drop off is. And this current just as the water drops, it just keeps changing. And I'm sure these fish just kind of move around. You know, based on where the bait's going and where the currents the eddies are taking them. But I had a, I threw in there a while ago, I had a bite, and I thrown back there several times and didn't get any more bites, and then I changed colors to a black with a chartreuse tail and got a bite. I don't know if it's so much color as it is just figuring out exactly where these fish are. I think they'll bite if you get it in front of them. I 
Maybe they're just roaming around. And I just have to get run across them. They're not staying in one place. I don't know. Okay. I kept getting bites throwing up current in the mouth of this creek. And so after three or four bites, I decided to change my location to move out here. Like there's a little point right here in front of me so I could let the bait flow with the current because the current's going right through here. First throw, I got a bite and I caught a fish. So let's see if this is gonna work for me because really you should let your bait go with the current. Conventional wisdom. So I think this is gonna work out a lot better for me and I'd probably be better if I was down that way, but this should work just fine because I'm letting it drift just like that. No bite that time, but the first cast I got that fish. So that tells me there's fish there. I just gotta fish it the right way. There's, sometimes stuff like that makes a big difference. Sometimes they'll just bite it no matter what direction you're throwing it, no matter what the current's doing. But sometimes they just want it going, you know, the natural way that the bait is going. Right. Here's number two. Definitely was a good move for me there. These aren't like giants, but catching fish and it's fun. Change locations. This is my first fish here. I've had a few bites here. Small. These are really small, I think. Um, I mean, obviously, this one is. Obviously, but I've had a lot of bites. So I'm trying to get these guys figured out. I went to a smaller jig because they were hitting it on the fall. I mean, really. You know, like you could tell that they wanted on the fall, period. So, I'm sitting right on the break. It's kind of a it's a creek right here, and I'm in the river channel. But this is a big area where there's a big eddy right here. I've had about maybe five four or five bites right here in this spot. A couple of nice big thumps and a lot of little small ticks. It's hard to tell. I'm wondering if I need to move and throw from the other direction because it's like it was a while ago when you get the bites, you don't catch the fish. Putting on this lighter jig, it falls slower. So it gives them more time to uh, to hit it. They like that fall. Stuck him right in the roof of the mouth. He really wanted it, I think. Pretty fish. Oh, oh, oh. they popped it that time, the whole line jumped. down there that time. Oh, let's retie. Okie dokie. It's a Charlie Brewer crappie slider. Oh 
Charlie Brewer. in the roof of the mouth it's supposed to be good I think I know one thing it's good because they don't get off Tammy Nichols stop her all right guys the bike has slowed down really slow so uh, it's okay, okay day. I found uh, some fish, found out how to catch them. Uh, had a bunch of, again, a bunch of bites like I did last time, fish I didn't catch. So uh, I don't know what the deal is with that. I think maybe that bait, just the profile of that bait might be hard for them to uh, get, or maybe small fish, you know, because they're hitting it pretty aggressively. So uh, anyway, I was, ha I was happy with it, and uh, thanks guys for watching. And have a good day.